Good morning, people. I'm back with another one, and this is going to be called How to Get Rid of a Narcissist, or if you even know if you're dealing with one, and how to just kill that negative energy from a narcissist for good. We all know that certain person who constantly plays the victim role, never taking any responsibility for the part that they play in anything contributing to the problem. Well, I had my share of dealing with these type folks more than once, but, you know, because we give them a benefit of the doubt, sometimes we just look at it and we misunderstanding something about them. But once people continually show you the same behavior, then that's when you have to just kind of start looking at the situation different. Well, look at that person different and call it what it really is a narcissist and um you know but once you figure out that they're just playing the victim and they're unable to show you a different side of them then now it's up to you to make the decision on how you are going to deal with them are you going to deal with them or are you just going to completely cut them off you don't want a narcissist to be attached on to you they drain way too much energy from you and when you know who you are as a person, the last thing you want to be attached on to you is anything that is, you know, anything draining, anything less positive, anything that can contribute anything good to your life. And here's a quote. Sometimes you got to play the fool to the fool who thinks they're fooling you. And that's some of the best advice given, especially to someone who, you know, wants to completely stop associating with a narcissist and they can be in the workplace and I know so this is just going to be like part one of many of these new videos I want to start doing I want to start doing a series of videos called green tea and it's going to be based on chronicles and I'm going to break down each chronicle It's going to be based on a different situation whether it be work chronicles, um, home chronicles, relationship chronicles, family chronicles. You know, it's just going to be a series of different chronicles that I'm, I'm just going to break down. And it's going to be kind of fun. At the same time, it's going to have, you know, some things in there that can probably help someone to kind of recognize what it is that's going on. And, and you know, maybe we can help help each other. So just be on the lookout for those videos in the future. I look forward to, to doing the Green Tea Chronicles. This is something new that I that I really want to um, get into soon. So, back to the narcissist. A narcissist is a, is a huge manipulator. They fail to see their own flaws. Everything they do is perfect. And, you know, you're just below them. You're below them. They're a bit of a control freak. I mean, I deal with these type people. I know what I'm talking about. And for the long time, they had me under their little spell until I decided, no, I'm going to have to let them know that you're not going to mind control me. My mind is on a whole nother level now, and you just can't control me with the little games that you're playing. You probably can fool others who don't know any better, but not me. So you're going to have to play those games with other people. Um, and to you. Let them know that you know what they're doing and maybe they need to check themselves. They're going to continue to do it because they really don't care. A narcissist is like a serial victim. Somebody who loves to play the victim. Someone who fails to take responsibility for anything, you know, of their wrongdoing. Anything on their behalf that they've created any type of uh, chaotic drama, any type of friction. They're not going to recognize that they're the cause of it. They're going to flip the strip, script and turn it on you. So that's when you know you're dealing with a narcissist. And it's kind of funny to me because you kind of see it coming already once you see that this is who this person really is. And it's, it's just funny. It doesn't take away the energy. The only thing that could take away your energy is the things you allow to take away your energy. You know, um, so yeah, this is just.
one of the many videos that I'll be doing on my chronicles. And this one is part one of how you know you're dealing with a narcissist and how to deal with a narcissist. So this is part one. Stay tuned for part two. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I got a lot more to say about this. And we're going to have some fun with it. I'm not going to take it too, too serious. But at the same time, it is something that you should get into because it's real. And we've all deal with these type people. And when you come to, you know, the realization that you know what you're dealing with. And then you have to, you know, you got to just dig deep inside yourself and be like, okay, so how am I deal with this? I'm just going to continue dealing with it. Or I'm not going to deal with them at all. Personally, I have decided not to deal with the foolishness. So, I'll be letting you all know what I'll be doing soon with my personal situation dealing with a narcissist type person. And um, y'all just stay tuned. Today is Thursday. I hope you enjoy your day. And as always, thank you all for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.